what's going on y'all back with another reaction video today we got greg dulcich i'm assuming that's how you uh, pronounce his name uh we'll see once we get to the actual video uh 64 243 uh four six in the comp in the, the comp box. and yeah 40 um i guess size uh says he pronounced dulcich okay dulcich okay Walked on to UCLA as a three-star recruit, racked up more than a thousand yards as a receiver in high school. Okay, so he got some really good receiving ability. Uh, I won't, I won't go too hard on the four-six-nine. I think that's pretty solid. I think he's gonna be okay. Uh, move tight end with some vertical talent who can be expected to add much as an inline blocker. They said the same thing about the uh, about Trey McBride, the uh, number one tight end. Walter Football has uh, Greg as the second tight end, so. Uh, I think this this is just what we have right now uh, as far as this this year and the crop of tight ends just some really good receiving tight ends. Um, long legged duck footed runner who's faster than he looks, averaging 17.6 yards per catch for his career. Wow, it's really good. He can improve as a route runner, but might have three level potential as a pass catcher. It's really good, really good. Adding extra yardage after the catch, he has a decent catch radius, tracks it well, but lacks desire body control for tougher catch adjustments downfield. Added 40 pounds of good weight and muscle while at UCLA. Potential to succeed working downfield routes, demeanor to get better as a blocker. Okay, so it's a lot of upside, it sounds like with him. Weaknesses are not long at all. So this is a, probably one of the shortest weaknesses I've seen for a um, higher player, higher ranked player. Um, poor placement overall, use as use of hands as a blocker. Okay, blocking, leggy and gradual into turns. Drifts, stagnates versus zone creating contested catches hey, if he can catch it, he can catch it you know whatever work below average body control catching on a move the disappointing catch focus at times okay uh and then we'll watch it for what said about him said in 22 okay those dosage went from walk on to being a good tight end what is what is dosage that like german or something went from being a walk on to a good tight end from the bruins and ultimately a second day prospect for the 2022 draft he recorded 42 receptions for 725 yards and five touchdowns. That's good, good numbers right there. Uh, flash in 2020 with 26 catches, 517, five scores. Smooth athlete with quickness, right? Running a potential, receiving potential for the NFL with some development. Okay, so there's some potential there. So, shout out to California. Let's we'll check his highlights out. Uh, let's see. Get thrown hundreds of times in the summer and get it done. Bruins go back to work on offense. And Greg Dulcich, the tight end, has all kinds of room. The move. Down the sideline. Inside the 10. Oh. I see the smoothness. You know, like he got the burners like that. I don't know if I say Trey is faster, which I think. I, I kind of feel like Trey is a little faster. Trey McBride. But I see the smoothness. Mm. Came in at 280. He racked up to a, a thousand receiving yards at 280. Whoa, that was a great catch. Good catch, my guy. He got good hands, dude. Mm. He definitely moves like a receiver, like a big receiver. Like, uh, and I know he threw an interception, but I thought he looked up to the moment. So Ethan Garbers, his first pass of the night after the play fake to his tight end. Tight ends are going to be a big Allen right down the pipe. We'll see if that left foot is in. It looks like it is. Had control. Ooh, this is a tight end that I can't think of. It's somebody in the NFL who reminds me of him a little bit. Uh, that, seen the numbers and just nothing for him. Oh, I like that play. And it's him. Part of the hand on there, but you can't pull a guy back. First down, UCLA. Garbers to the end zone. Brown stays in. Thompson Robinson in. Dulcich. And that's a first down. Play style. Thompson Robinson facing pressure. Finds Dulcich. Beating it. Good move. Oh, with the spin. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Great catch, dude. 
Big throw. Another wide open strike to Dulcich. Out of the pistol on play action. DTR all kinds of time. He fires a strike. All right. First down, Greg Dulcich. 40 yards plus this year. I like that route. I don't. I don't know, man. I kind of just just from what I see based off these highlights, I like him a little better than Trey. But I don't. I'm not gonna say he's better. I'm say just based off these highlights, I like him just a little bit. Mm, ate the hit and threw him off. Okay. Makes a lot of catching traffic and. Test the catches. Mm. Touchdown, Dulcich, the tight end. They're locking down the south, in my view. I see him. I feel like he got good. He like field awareness, you know, where everybody's at, you know, spacing and distance to keep from the DBs on his routes. He tried zero try. As you see, UCLA fans, how do how do y'all see DTR? Oh, the pass. I like it. I like it. I you know, to broke down. I give him, I give him one that throw to throw. Put it out there for him. Broke the tackle. Going deep. Oh, he came back. Okay. All right, man. Hey, good highlight video. Um, I like what I see. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I don't really have too much negative to say. Uh, just got to see it play out. He looks really good. I, I don't really see too many negatives. I can see him come impact the offense day one. You know, as long as he knows the playbook, has the IQ, I can definitely see him come in and impact the offense on the first day. So, um, yeah, man. Yeah, hit the like button for me. Also, subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.